Cory Bernardi is using provocative motions to make ideological points in the Senate insults including misogynist and ill have been fired across the chamber today as Australian Conservative Senator Cory Bernardi moved a series of provocative motions. Senator Bernardi has thanked five coalition senators and one nation for voting with him on a motion to ban abortion on gender grounds. Queensland LNP Senator Barry O'Sullivan, Tasmanian Liberal Eric Abetz and frontbenchers Zed Seselja, Anne Rustin and Matt Canavan split with their coalition colleagues to vote with One Nation and Senator Bernardi on a motion opposing Medicare funding for termination of pregnancy on the basis of the gender of the baby. The motion was defeated but his party's Twitter account thanked the five coalition senators and three members of One Nation who supported him. Green Senator Sarah Hansen Young called her political opponents misogynistic in response to another Senator Bernardi motion that noted the anti-domestic violence organization Y Tribune Australia advocated for legal abortion, including late-term abortion. The motion was defeated, but it infuriated Sarah Hansen Young, who said Y Tribune was supporting rape victims having access to safe and legal abortion. Coalition senators refused her permission to make a statement about the issue, prompting her to label them a bunch of misogynistic before she was silenced. LNP Senator Ian MacDonald was rebuked for referring to Senator Hanson Young as a dill in response. Senator Bernardi's series of motions today sparked confusion among the coalition with some senators moving to sit with Labour but then changing their mind. Liberal Senators Simon Birmingham James Patterson and Anne Rustin abstained on the White Ribbon motion. Senator Bernardi split with the coalition early this year to set up the Australian Conservatives Party. He has been putting forward numerous controversial motions aimed at making ideological points. Earlier this week he asked the Senate to note that the Ottoman Empire's siege of Vienna was broken in 1529 and Viennese coffeehouses created croissants to celebrate the defeat of the so-called Army of the Crescent. It included a comment that despite the lifting of the siege, violence and oppression against liberal democracy and other faiths by Islamists has continued into our own time. That motion called on all politicians to enjoy a croissant with their coffee this week in solidarity with the defenders of liberalism and freedom. One Nation and Crossbenchers David Lane Jem and Lucy Jichui supported him but his croissant motion was comprehensively defeated by all other parties. LNP Minister James McGraw told Senator Bernardi that the government did not accept the linking the 1529 siege to the present challenge of violent Islamism. Many of Senator Bernardi's motions about social issues like abortion have created tension between the liberal and conservative wings of his former party. But he has also turned his sights on Labour and the Greens with a motion to call for the activist organization Get Up to face more scrutiny. That motion was also defeated, defeated, 